Welcome to Internet Working Basics. Internet Working Basics. This guide along with the next six guides acts as a foundation for the technology discussions that follow. In this guide, some fundamental concepts and terms used in the evolving language of Internet Working are addressed. In the same way that this video provides a foundation for understanding modern networking, this guide summarizes some common themes presented throughout the remainder of this video. Topics include flow control, error checking, and multiplexing, but this guide focuses mainly on mapping the open system interconnection OSI model to networking internet working functions, and also summarizing the general nature of addressing schemes within the context of the OSI model. The OSI model represents the building blocks for internet works. Understanding the conceptual model helps you understand the complex pieces that make up an internet work. What is an internet work? An internet work is a collection of individual networks, connected by intermediate networking devices, that functions as a single large network. Internet working refers to the industry, products, and procedures that meet the challenge of creating and administering internet works. Different network technologies can be connected to create an internet work. Here we can see some different kinds of network technologies that can be interconnected by routers and other networking devices to create an internet work. History of Internet Working The first networks were time-sharing networks that used mainframes and attached terminals. Such environments were implemented by both IBM Systems Network Architecture, SNA, and Digital's Network Architecture. Local Area Networks, LANs, evolved around the PC revolution. LANs enabled multiple users in a relatively small geographical area to exchange files and messages, as well as access shared resources such as file servers and printers. Wide Area Networks once interconnect LANs with geographically dispersed users to create connectivity. Some of the technologies used for connecting LANs include T1, T3, ATM, ISDN, ADSL, Frame Relay, Radio Links, and others. New methods of connecting dispersed LANs are appearing every day. Today, high-speed LANs and switched internetworks are widely used, largely because they operate at very high speeds and support such high bandwidth applications as multimedia and video conferencing. Internet working evolved as a solution to three key problems, isolated LANs, duplication of resources, and a lack of network management. Isolated LANs made electronic communication between different offices or departments impossible. Duplication of resources meant that the same hardware and software had to be supplied to each office or department, as did separate support staff. This lack of network management meant that no centralized method of managing and troubleshooting networks existed. Internet Working Challenges Implementing a functional Internet work is no simple task. Many challenges must be faced, especially in the areas of connectivity, reliability, network management, and flexibility. Each area is key in establishing an efficient and effective Internet work. The challenge when connecting various systems is to support communication among disparate technologies. Different sites, for example, may use different types of media operating at varying speeds, or may even include different types of systems that need to communicate. Because companies rely heavily on data communication, Internet works must provide a certain level of reliability. This is an unpredictable world, so many large Internet works include redundancy to allow for communication even when problems occur. Furthermore, Network management must provide centralized support and troubleshooting capabilities in an Internet work. Configuration, security, performance, and other issues must be adequately addressed for the Internet work to function smoothly. Security within an Internet work is essential. Many people think of network security from the perspective of protecting the private network from outside attacks. However, it is just as important to protect the network from internal attacks especially because most security breaches come from inside. Networks must also be secured so that the internal network cannot be used as a tool to attack other external sites. Early in the year 2000, many major websites were the victims of distributed denial-of-service, DDoS, attacks. 
These attacks were possible because a great number of private networks currently connected with the Internet were not properly secured. These private networks were used as tools for the attackers. Because nothing in this world is stagnant, Internet networks must be flexible enough to change with new demands. Open Systems Interconnection Reference Model The Open Systems Interconnection OSI Reference Model describes how information from a software application in one computer moves through a network medium to a software application in another computer. The OSI Reference Model is a conceptual model composed of seven layers, each specifying particular network functions. The model was developed by the International Organization for Standardization, ISO, in 1984, and it is now considered the primary architectural model for intercomputer communications. The OSI model divides the tasks involved with moving information between networked computers into seven smaller, more manageable task groups. A task or group of tasks is then assigned to each of the seven OSI layers. Each layer is reasonably self-contained so that the tasks assigned to each layer can be implemented independently. This enables the solutions offered by one layer to be updated without adversely affecting the other layers. The following list details the seven layers of the Open Systems Interconnection OSI Reference Model. Layer 7 Application Layer 6 Presentation Layer 5 Session Layer 4 Transport Layer 3 Network Layer 2 Data Link Layer 1 Physical Note, a handy way to remember the seven layers is the sentence All people seem to need data processing, the beginning letter of each word corresponds to a layer, all, application layer, people, presentation layer, seem, session layer, two, transport layer, need, network layer, data, data link layer, processing, physical layer. Characteristics of the OSI layers The seven layers of the OSI reference model can be divided into two categories, upper layers and lower layers. The upper layers of the OSI model deal with application issues and generally are implemented only in software. The highest layer, the application layer, is closest to the end user. Both users and application layer processes interact with software applications that contain the communications component. The term upper layer is sometimes used to refer to any layer above another layer in the OSI model. The lower layers of the OSI model handle data transport issues. The physical layer and the data link layer are implemented in hardware and software. The lowest layer, the physical layer, is closest to the physical network medium, for example, the network cabling, and is responsible for actually placing information on the medium. Protocols. The OSI model provides a conceptual framework for communication between computers, but the model itself is not a method of communication. Actual communication is made possible by using communication protocols. In the context of data networking, a protocol is a formal set of rules and conventions that governs how computers exchange information over a network medium. A protocol implements the functions of one or more of the OSI layers. A wide variety of communication protocols exist. Some of these protocols include LAN protocols, WAN protocols, network protocols, and routing protocols. LAN protocols operate at the physical and data link layers of the OSI model and define communication over the various LAN media. WAN protocols operate at the lowest three layers of the OSI model and define communication over the various wide area media. Routing protocols are network layer protocols that are responsible for exchanging information between routers so that the routers can select the proper path for network traffic. Finally, network protocols are the various upper layer protocols that exist in a given protocol suite. Many protocols rely on others for operation. For example, many routing protocols use network protocols to exchange information between routers. This concept of building upon the layers already in existence is the foundation of the OSI model.